Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken, and today's experiment is making a record player and a speaker. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a pencil, a pin or needle, a record, tape, and a partner. Warning, use re vinyl records that you do not care about, as these will be ruined with this experiment. I got mine at the local library. All right, welcome to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken, and my assistant is... Grace. Grace, all right. And we're going to make a speaker, uh, like a phonograph, right? So this is a vinyl record. You know what a vinyl record is? Uh, no. <laughs> it's like a CD or um, MP3. You know, have you ever played the music on your iPod or your iPhone? Yeah, it's like that, but it's on plastic, okay? So in these grooves right here, there's music. And what we're going to do is make a speaker so you can hear those, all right? So we put a record here, and we're going to show you how to make it. I gotta come down. The self-powered uh, experiments were the hardest because we couldn't keep up the right speed, which either make the voice go too quick, or like album the Chipmunks, or too slow. And okay, to make a speaker, we're going to uh, roll it up into a cone shape. So we take the paper. This is just regular paper, and we're going to roll it up so it looks like a cone, like this little hole in the bottom and we're going to tape it. Give it a, Ta -da. There you go. Let's go one more up on the top here. Um, tape, 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 tape. There you go. Perfect. So we have a cone with a hole in the bottom. See my finger and a little hole. Now we're going to take a needle and we're going to show the needle. There it is. And we're going to tape it right here. On the on the paper, so you come around, here, Gracie. Tape it there. All right. There it goes. Switch songs. With the pencil turntable, it started to wobble and we couldn't keep up the right speed, so therefore not getting a really clear music. Setup for the pencil turntable is just taking a pencil and putting it in the hole of the record there. If it's a little too loose, you might have to put a little tape or push the pencil a little farther. Once it's set up, you're going to need one person to spin the pencil turntable and the other one to hold the cone speaker but we couldn't get the consistency of the right speed uh, to get the, the music to be perfect. Plugged-in turntable seems to work the best because we had a consistent speed working with us. The Red Solo Cup speaker seemed to work the best as it really amplified the music. Setup for that is putting a hole in the bottom of the Red Solo Cup and then putting your pin in there and taping that pin so it's along the wall of the Red Solo Cup.
And what's the science all behind this? Well, vinyl records have grooves in them. The grooves aren't smooth. They're rather microscopic bumps and bends that correspond with the recorded music or voices. As the record turns, the tip of the pin travels within the spiral groove. Writing these bumps and bends causes the pin, and therefore the paper, cone, speaker, or cup, to vibrate up and down and side by side. The vibrations in the cones cause the air to vibrate. These vibrations then radiate out to the cone to your ear, which you hear music or the voices, whatever has been recorded on the record. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.